Then, no? now the College of Liberal Arts no, broke up. So one of the colleges that resulted from the breakup is the College of Science. Okay. First, uh, by giving quizzes and tests. Okay. Because otherwise you don't study. Okay. But I usually motivate by giving, giving, giving them bonus points. Example, instead of 25, I reduce the total number of points in the quiz to 20. Okay. I would try to solve them as much as possible. But if I can solve them at once, sometimes solving problems takes time. So how do I solve problem? I study the situation, okay, and then from the situation, okay, right, I try to come up with a solution that more or less solve you know, the problem in question, okay. nothing to lose. I really did not choose to be a teacher, but I think I'm destined to become a teacher. Inspire and motivate <laughs> to different things. You know. But anyway, inspire, motivate. Okay. <laughs> I make it. I'm, uh, I make sure that when I present examples, it is it looks easier on my part. So that when the student, uh, so that on the time comes that this is the, it's now the student's turn to 
solve the equations or to solve the problems, they would feel not uh, they they won't feel the, the they won't be having a hard time answering it. They won't feel that it's hard. You know? As of now, I don't prepare any lesson anymore. <laughs> But before, I make it the point that I used to have, let's say, five books with the same topics and then I'll be the one to read it and read it. So that when I deliver it in class, I'm very confident. Obstacle or problem? It depends. If the problem is small, I just ignore it most of the times because most problems are solvable naman as time passed by. I don't solve it initially, right there and then, because the tendency is... Pwede ba tagal? Iba yung reaction ko kapag initial, iba yung reaction ko pag napalipas na siya. So, hindi ko siya sinasolve right there and then. Kasi, usually, init lang ng ulo kung iyan. Far away!